Hello, English 11. Uh, today is a very big day. It's Thursday, May 7th, 2020, and we are officially starting the research project. So you are now done with reading and analysis. We've had our two summatives and our units with that, and because of time and calendar things to consider, uh, we are diving into this research project, and this is going to take us to the end of the year, which is kind of crazy. I'm going to try to keep this video as short as possible. I'm just going to dive right in. All right, so today we are, I'm going to briefly talk about the project. We'll get more details as things go on, but you'll get the essential information today to help you get started. And your task today is to choose your topic, which is your marginalized group and the decade that you are going to be working in. So the rest of the trimester. In English 11, we approach American literature chronologically in order to analyze our texts through a historical and biographical lens. One of the key learning outcomes for this course is to understand how a piece of literature fits into a specific time period and how and why it is relevant to the larger American story. That's what we've been doing all year long with modernism, which you just finished, how is it that the Hemingway hero traits, which are a result of World War I, are reflected in the literature that is being written? All right, and that's why we're always giving you these history lessons, and sometimes it feels like social studies and English are overlapping where they shouldn't be. But I'll say it again and again and again, art and literature and music are all a reflection of what's happening in the world. The poem that we started this trimester with um, that spoke about COVID and quarantine is a prime example of that. So now it's your turn. Individually, you will research one marginalized group and analyze their American dream and efforts towards it during a specific contemporary decade of your choice. The contemporaries are the 1940s through 2010. So for instance, you might choose African-Americans in the 1960s. You might choose Latino immigrants in the 1970s, women in the 80s, list goes on and on. The research process is where the real learning is going to take place. In fact, the research process this trimester holds more weight in the grade book than the final product itself. Um, because that's where we have to dedicate all of our time because of the way the calendar is working out, um, that's really the meat of all of this. So completing the research process step-by-step, step, which we will give you plenty of time and plenty of breakdown to do that, including teacher examples, um, that's where all your, the weight of this is going to lie. This process has been designed and fine-tuned many, many times. Um, it is starting to become as seamless as we can possibly make it. Um, and it takes you step by step, tiny, tiny task by tiny, tiny task um, to get this done. And these are skills that no matter what career or field of work you decide to go into, or potentially if you plan to go um, to a two-year two or four-year college, research is always going to be something that's required. It's, it's how we learn how to do our jobs. It's how we um, complete projects and things like that for school. This process is going to be used again and again and again. And I promise that if you learn how to do this and it becomes more of a natural thing, Research essays and projects are gonna become so much easier. All right, so again, we are breaking it down step by step. You'll be supported with video tutorials, teacher models, templates, and writing conference opportunities. Everything that has been done in this project that you are required to do, we have done ourselves. I'm a firm believer in, I don't believe in assigning work to a student if I haven't tried to do it myself. Um, so that is what's happened with this project. Uh, so just know that you'll you'll get teacher models. I've gone through this process myself. Everything is designed to make it as easy as possible for you to learn. I also want to stress that this, the research process combined with the final product is 55% of your grade. So doing these tasks is required to pass. We're going to take virtual learning into account. We are going to help you however we can and to, to assess you in the most fair way possible. But also just do the steps and you'll be just fine. So this is your prompt. Choose a marginalized American culture from a specific period of the contemporary era. 
and using the research process, explore the unique American dream that group was working towards. Research how the historical context of your period influenced both the marginalized group and their dream. Finally, determine whether or not they attained their dream and provide evidence to support your claims. So what do we mean by this? Marginalized groups are groups of human beings who are in the margins of society because of discrimination and inequality. There are many different marginalized groups. Potentially, you might feel like you're a part of one. Maybe you have family that are, maybe that you're just interested in this group and learning more about why is it that society hasn't treated them fairly. There isn't great reasons, but there are reasons that society comes up with. All right, and so diving into this will be a really fantastic learning experience for you. Examples of marginalized groups are women, LGBTQ, people of color, that could be African-American, Latino, Asian, American Indian, and so on and so forth. Immigrants, the working class, people living in poverty, and many others. Within each of these marginalized groups, there are also subgroups, which you are totally encouraged to explore. For example, women of color, Japanese Americans, Latino immigrants, migrant workers, okay? Think about a group that you want to learn more about and dive into it. I promise that you'll find information on them. Okay? And all of these human beings deserve for their stories to be studied. So step one is to choose your marginalized group and your decade. And here's your task. On Google Classroom, there's a Google form where you will simply be telling me which decade you've chosen and which marginalized group an American dream you want to focus on within that decade. Remember, this is not an overview of one marginalized group and their entire history. That's completely not doable. This isn't even the history of African Americans and their fight for civil rights in the 20th century. You are focusing on African Americans and specifically what they were struggling with and fighting for in the 70s or in the 80s or the working class in the 2000s during the economic recession, post 9-11. Maybe you wanna look into Middle Eastern immigrants um, or Muslim Americans after 9-11. Society and history has such a profound impact on what is going on with human beings and the different trials and tribulations that they face. Um, so that's, I want you to be able to research really, really specific things. Ultimately, it's going to be way easier for you. So uh, to identify a marginalized group, you can use my list or you can consider groups um, that because of what was happening in history had to fight for equality in some way. I on Google Classroom have posted the historical research packet, which is going to take you step by step through this process. Um, you don't really need to worry about it too much today. We'll focus more on it tomorrow. But if you're somebody who likes to take notes or have some sort of organized note-taking strategy, there is a page in there that will help you take notes. Um, and it looks like this. This is the top half of that page and this is the bottom half. But feel free to just uh, jot down notes on notebook paper right now. Finally, if you know what decade and marginalized group you wanna look into, awesome. Just share that in a Google form. If you want to explore a little bit, um, I've posted some credible media sources under a document called Decade Exploration Sources. And there you're going to find docu-series, YouTube videos, Netflix shows, and a bunch of different really cool historical videos for each decade for you to explore. Some of the best documentaries um, for history right now are these CNN documentaries, which I believe were produced by Tom Hanks of all people. Um, but there's one for each of the contemporary decades, roughly. They're super great. Um, they're entire docu-series, and then each episode is based on something, whether that's like television and movies or war or things like that. Um, so if you want to explore a little bit, feel free. It's certainly not required, um, but it could be really helpful to help you make a decision. That's it. So today, your homework is tell me the decade that you're going to focus on, tell me the marginalized group you're going to focus on, and why you picked them. Hopefully that's easy enough. For right now, don't worry about anything else. Let's just start with choosing our topic. Okay? Until tomorrow.